Hey everyone, so I wanted to go through how I straightened my topper. So my stylist gave me this awesome little um, mount where you mount it onto any shelf or table here and then um, you could screw it to tighten it. And then on top of it sits your foam head. So this is definitely what I've been using. Screw it on. Okay, nice and tight, and then my foam head goes on top of that. And then now I next pin it to the foam head, pin my topper. So, um, you know, something that I was told to do was, you know, just go ahead and put the pins anywhere. That would be in this, you know, center where, you know, where you have um, your parting area. And uh, I recently heard on a video to not do that because it creates something called reverse hairs and it's where instead of your hairs coming out this way it finds that hole it starts coming out this way and I saw that happen on at one point then I was like oh my gosh I shouldn't do that anymore so um, I'm going to be pinning instead where the clips are so clip that on or pin that on So of course, you know, I added my thermal um, thermal protectant spray already to my hair and to the topper as well, and just combing it out. I do tend to hold the top of it just so it doesn't snag like it just did. All right, and I usually, you know, just go in and just straighten it in chunks, but honestly, it is better to do it um, the more patient method which is to grab the top layer of the hair, put it to the side, and then um, uh, straighten it in smaller, smaller chunks. And I did allow this to air dry, and um, I think it's better than uh, blow drying it. It's just like our own hair, you know, it's a human hair topper. So, the way I do it is I just comb through and grab a smaller piece. I comb through, that removes any tangles, and then straighten, and I catch it with the comb. Straighten, catch. That was a little smaller than I usually do, but um, like this is a more of a size I usually do. Now that catch at the end helps by um, letting it cool down before it falls and allows it to like curl or um, create a wave. Just give it a few seconds, you know, caught in there. And you know, if it's usually that your end straighten your, or wave before anything else, um, definitely concentrate on those ends. So I'm going to go ahead and do this all the way around. Alright, so I go ahead and straighten my own hair um, and finished up my topper, combed it through, and um, so I have my four clips. Like I explained in my previous video, I use four clips at a time, although I have multiple clips on there um, to kind of help um, relieve the tension day by day from every area. So. Flip it on, and as I said in my last video, I'll go through it really quickly. I don't put it about an inch back or so the way they recommend for toppers because I don't have enough hair down there to, um, you know, cover, and I don't like using um, fibers or eyeshadows and powders. So I put it pretty much right, right behind um, my hairline. So I'd say, oof. The hairline is right there, and then the topper is right, right behind it. So, go ahead and put that, clip the first one in. And then I walk my fingers to the back, clip that one, and then walk my fingers to the sides, 
clip those. All right. Okay. <laughs> Looking crazy here. But then comb it through to combine and blend the hair together. Ooh. I always put my hand on top as I comb, up, comb out because um, I just like to minimize as much tension as possible. Okay, so um, my side part, it, it always, since I do it constantly here, it always kind of stays pretty well, but sometimes I do have to redo it. Um, you can see it pretty defined. Okay, that's kind of how I want it. Add a spritz of water. The water helps lay it down better. And then if necessary, I will use a blow dryer to kind of um, lay it directionally. See how real that looks. And I'm gonna fix this front part. You see how you can, since it's not a lace front, you see that front part. So I hide it is I just bring over some of the topper hair as little as possible and bring more as needed. I think that works right there. It's got to work it to how uh, what your preference is, and then what works for you, the type of topper you have. Everyone's is definitely different. Okay, that works. That works very well. Okay, and just a little heat to lay it down a little better, because you can see this little bit of like a, a poofiness on one side. definitely sits a lot better and then the way I usually put my hair in a bobby pin to the side all of this looks pretty nice also I usually use two just in case you know it usually sweeps across my face like this or Sometimes expose a little bit more of the hairline. Definitely makes it look a little more, even more real. And you put it behind the ear. In front, it is definitely endless. So this is how I straighten my topper and how I um, make my part. I hope this helps and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.